So there, we dove into it. Kids these days, you darn Gen Z kids on your phones all day, how to be a good dude. So now we're going to talk about how to be the optimal development candidate, how to be a good dude while you're in development. Step one, you're going to have to interact with a recruiter for the first time. Number one, be patient. And number two, please understand that you are making your reputation starting now. From the first email, from the first text message, from the first interactions, this is the first part of your job interview. So we can't stress that enough. I have gotten text messages from recruiter friends of mine, and they will show me screen caps. They'll be like, what does this even mean? And I'll read the text and I'll have to decipher it for them. <laughs> so you don't have to be. And, and again, you know, going back to playing a role, like you can speak in your own plain language and you can text like you would normally talk. You don't have to go like I've seen people go all the way over. Like I'll get some DMs that are like formatted, like a memorandum for record, like <laughs> memorandum for record, Aaron Love, subject, wish to enter the pipeline from an ROTC student, subject. Like, you know, like it doesn't need to be that either. But you were you were starting your reputation from the second that you engage with that recruiter. So keep that in mind, because these people are good. Like, man, if you think people don't reach back, if you think that your name uh, doesn't get thrown around when you're oh not there, gosh, yeah. like good, bad, or indifferent, you're, you're wrong. Like, let me just tell you right now, you are, you're incorrect. It's, and it's not a, it's not a, um, a gossip kind of thing. Nope. It's like, yeah. it, I, okay. <laughs> listen, All right, we, there, we there, love to gossip more than anything else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You get a bunch of dudes in the team room. And, me, 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 me. Oh like, geez. Little hens clucking but, in the hen house. But there is a, like, if, if I'm getting somebody coming in a unit and, and and they are not a brand new person. They are, you know, somebody who's been established. If I don't know their reputation already, I probably will find out and go, Hey, what, what am I dealing with here? Um, but at the same time, with that said, everybody that would come in when I was at the two, two, everybody that come in, comes in in a clean slate. Yeah. Like you, uh, uh, immediate trust right off the bat, immediate, like, Hey, you're a professional, you're whatever, regardless of the, AFSC that you are, the Air Force Specialty Code that you are, you start on a clean slate and a hundred percent trust. Then from there it goes. But Dude, if I, I wouldn't trust any of those gray hats. <clears throat> I don't know. What you're <laughs> you said it, not me. What about what about that JT? What about Jared's Jared's meme with the adult swim cartoon? Oh, I amazing. laughed so hard at that. It <laughs> was so good. Yeah. And, and I want to monster are you? What kind of monster are you? Uh, I, I want to tell you guys too, like, and this is just real talk because of who we are and because of the touch and reach that we have with the community, we know some of your names already. <laughs> Recruiters have reached out Sucks to us. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. We know some of your names already. Like good, bad, indifferent. Like we see you on the Discord. We know that you're getting ready to go. I was I was just talking this last week with somebody that's getting ready to go to ANS 100%. I made, you know, a couple of, a couple of connections on their behalf. If you think for what, like I get, here's a great example. I gave somebody from the Pacific Northwest their last IFT. So I ran their last IFT before they got in. Uh, one of the MagCom functional managers called me to say, Hey, is this person ready to go? I was like, listen, they did great in their PT test. I visualized them doing it. They, they were great to standard. And then he called to be like, Hey, Aaron, WTF, they bounced out like two weeks into assessment selection. Like they just, they just left. And I was like, uh, okay. But well, I heard about this. Yeah. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. And I get, I got, t I got tuned up for that. And mm. I was just like, I, but I can only tell you about that IFT. I only saw him run a PT test, but yeah, my, my bad, but that's the level of communication that we have. <laughs> dude. Like in the office, like who signed this? They're like, Aaron love signed off on his PT test. And we're like, man, what, I, what happened here? I, I didn't like, he just ran a PT test guys. I don't know what to tell you. Like I, I never yeah, said your name's on it. You know, like, I know so like, but that's it. You're the person that we're going to come after. But exactly. That's a, that's a good lesson for the, the folks out here. The new, like when you put your name on something, you were essentially vetting that person. So when you have, and this has not happened very often, but probably each of us have probably received five, you know, asks or requests. I know I probably have, for letters of recommendation, whether, mm -hmm. you know, for cross trainees, I'm like, I don't know you. I, yeah. I'm sorry. Like I, I, yeah. I wish you all the best. I want you on the team. I want, like, I want you to be there, but you can't expect me to write a letter of recommendation unless I actually know you. And even right. then I'm also, 
<clears throat> man, we're going to have to, like, I got to know you really, really well. Really well. To give you a little right. recommendation because I'm signing off on that. Now, well, and, a little different when you're signing off on a PT test, like, yeah, I witnessed this person do these yeah. things. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking yeah. about a letter of recommendation kind of thing. Right. Well, and if you're joining the pipeline, it's like an entry level position. You know, like if you need a letter of recommendation from from, you know, Chief Petrus, like you need to be undeniable in your own right. Your job is to to, to perform on a very personal level when you get there. If your PT scores are high enough and all these other things, like you don't need to reach out to the most important person that you've ever talked to on Instagram and ask for a letter of recommendation. Right. Like. <laughs> Who is this dude you're talking right. about? Because it ain't it's like you. you. Yeah, you. you want to go into the tech space and you're like, "Hey, Elon Musk, write me a recommendation letter so I can go work <laughs> yeah. at Microsoft." Like, you what, liked what are you one of my posts one time, like <laughs> obviously. Hey, no, but, no, yeah, and that's battle rhythm aside. Hey, no big deal. I assume you're just sitting around staring at your phone, waiting on people to text you from your side gig. But uh, can you just write this letter real quick? <laughs> I saw that you take you take naps in your office, so you got time. <laughs> so I have got- taken a nap in my office. Well, yeah, because I, you work 20 hour days and it didn't make sense for you to go home. Like no, everybody's man. taking a cage well, nap. Yeah, that's a, that's a, di- so the, I'm talking about, I've taken a nap here at the web school. So I hadn't flown an F-16 in a, in a long time. And then we did high aspect, um, BFM. And that's different. so bro, that I came back, dog. I came back and I was wrecked and I, I had, <laughs> I even set out like a little space under my desk and I'm like, I just got to lay down. I just got to lay down for <laughs> the motion light. You know, it's bad when the motion light goes off and you're oh, like, this is it. Oh, this is it. And I, was, <laughs> I was like, I need this so bad. So bad. Dude, uh, back, uh, you know, a million years ago, it feels like, but going through the phys tech seven level program, you have to go through the centrifuge. Cause that's another thing that we run. Well, oh, yeah, that was like, uh, a month. Before I went to Indoc, like I still, you, you still have to proceed as if you're going to have the same job because you're most likely going to fail. So this is 2000, uh, 2004, 2005. And I'm, I had to go through the centrifuge. So first of all, they were like, Hey, is anybody doing any long distance running or any long distance work? And I was like, yeah, I'm running quite a bit. And they were like, we'd like you to go first. And I was like, Oh, that's, that's weird. That's okay. Yeah. I'll go first. He must think I'm going to do the best. Absolutely not. I did not make the, the nine G profile. I G locked hard out of that thing and I, I do that to say i did the same thing that you did i went we had a lunch break i went home uh we were staying on base uh, it was brooks city base back then but i was at brooks and i was like i'm just gonna like lay my head down in this hotel room i woke up and i was already a half an hour late i had like five <laughs> missed calls on my phone and i got in there and like the flight dog's like you okay dude and i was like no man i feel like my brain's been scrambled like that is like the fighter those fighter pilots that pull you know consistent 9g profiles and that's just like tuesday for them respect yeah. and, it, and it affects them it's like to be fair it affects them too if they haven't flown in a long time like they feel it too but um, well it affects yeah. the constant thing too have you ever talked to a fighter pilot it affects them day to day yeah 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 their their bodies are wrecked too hey oh um <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Boy, we got a fun attention. That's yeah, okay. Oh, man. It's okay. What we're talking about is being, you know, the best in the development program that you possibly can be, right? Like, be patient with your recruiter. Be professional with your recruiter. Remember, like, and again, this kind of goes back to, you know, the, just the difference. Like, you are not the center of the universe. You have to start putting your mind into this is a team. I Like, I am part of a team. Sometimes you're just a cog in a machine, to be honest with you. Sometimes you're just a person that's expected to show up do the work and go home. Sometimes the best thing that you can do is just not draw attention to yourself, good or bad. (laughs) Just show up, crush what you need to crush, and then go on about your day. You'd be surprised how refreshing it is to see, you know, a candidate do that. I I think about young troops that, you know, never have a problem with them. They just kind of, the best, the best young three levels that I know, sometimes you don't know their name for the first six months. You know, they're just solid at all their skills. You really don't have any input for them. They show up on time. They're never late, never light, always have a pen and a piece of paper ready to, to, you know, take some notes in the right gear. And you're like, oh, okay, you're, man, you're awesome. Yeah. Well, I, you know, before I left to, to some of the guys that we got out of the PJU, uh, comic control school, well, I guess the, the new guys just so CTS. Yeah. yeah. So I keep it all. They, I don't think we had a bad dude show up. Like I was so impressed. And, and some of the, um, I remember there was one PJ that was, it did some kind of, uh, you know, high, high angle rescue, uh, FMP. And, uh, Colonel Deutman was like, Hey, is like, what is he a, a staff tech? Like, I was like, no, he's brand new out of the pipeline. 
Mm-hmm. He was just that professional, communicated that well, and operated that well. And it was like, man, this I just love seeing that. It's fantastic. Well, it makes us old guys feel okay, right? Like, hey, we might be okay after all. You see those glimmers of, of hope and you're like, oh, maybe things aren't as bad as the memes would indicate. See, all, all the old guys when I was young retired because they're like, there's no hope. This person is gone. <laughs> I'm just, I'm getting that while I can. Deal with, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Trent put more people into retirement than the stock market crash of 2008. <laughs> I love it. Um <laughs> So be be the be the be that ray of hope in your development program, right? Um, and I will put a shout out for for T three I. The number one thing that they want you to do: show up, show up to the development sessions. Yeah. Be ready to train for the. They can tell y'all. They can tell when you have when you have not been doing the physical fitness program that you should have been. They should know that you. 100% haven't been doing your studying. They can tell when you show up in your, you know, maybe you had too much alcohol the night before with your bros. Like they can tell every single time you're not putting out, right? That's a waste of time, both your time and their time. So yeah. show up to those development sessions and be ready to go. And the the, the thing I'll add though, as a, as a disclaimer, as we kind of wrap up this, this portion is just when you had mentioned Hey, Pete, your, your uh, reputation precedes you. People ask and know about you and we're tracking you essentially from, from injury level. It doesn't mean that you can't course correct, right? If you, if you happen to have a, a, a bad rotation or a bad training event or, you know, even just, Hey, I didn't have a good assignment. It doesn't mm-hmm. mean that you're screwed or, or you just had a bad time in the pipeline. It doesn't mean that you're screwed for the rest of your career or the right. rest of your enlistment. You can course correct from that. Everybody, everybody has bad stints of time. Everybody. So you just, you, like we've said it before, fail fast, learn from it and move on. Well, and, and, and two things about development before we move on is, is be honest with yourself about where your abilities are and, and, and all that other stuff. And then be patient. Like hitting the mark one time is a lot different than hitting the mark consistently. And that's going to affect your confidence level going into the pipeline, which is huge. 